Once we're working with a sidebar in WordPress, we often want to customize the look of that sidebar. That can be done by providing a widget for the sidebar. So if we look at this particular design, there is a pink box to the left. I'll hide some of the other material to let you see just that pink box. And that pink box has two hints on it. It's got the WP hint, like we saw before, meaning this is for WordPress, and the widget hint, which tells SiteGrinder this is a widget for each of the sidebar elements. Now, the contents of the widget boundary layer will be repeated over and over for each particular widget in the sidebar, depending on what the user has chosen or what you've selected in the sidebar settings. So that makes the, the widgets, in a sense, a little bit like the posts and the, and the, uh, uh, the comments uh, that we, uh, we saw earlier. Now, the, um, but the widget has a, a couple limitations. One, it must contain two particular widget identifiers that we can see here on the left, and that is the, uh, the widget title and the widget content identifiers. It must contain these two identifiers, otherwise it is invalid. And the widget title must precede the widget content um, identifier. It must come higher than it in the, uh, the flow of the, uh, of, of the column, because widgets, like the other um, blog things, are, uh, are columns. So these two things are what make our widgets. So in this particular widget, as it is right now, uh, we're really not doing too much customization. We're just having the uh, title be in Trajan Pro and the text, uh, when it's not linked, just be red text that's uh, Verdana or, or Comic Sans or something. So nothing uh, too fancy there. If we want to get it a little fancier, I'm also going to put inside this widget, I'm going to put in a little uh, graphic column, which is this little... Uh, uh, bounding box there, and that's going to be center cut. So I've got a little uh, center cut layer there, and uh, I'm not going to go into that right now because we've got done center cut in other tutorials, and I'm sure you're all familiar with that. So once we take this widget as it is now and build it, this is what we get. So here I've uh, we're on our, our page, and you can see the widgets um, have been populated inside our little widget frames, and so that they're uh, going up and down. And we have. Uh, um, all of our widgets there. And again, we can do the blog appearance, we can turn widgets on and off, um, just like we could before, and, and then they'll disappear. But now we have the ability to customize each widget, and, uh, and that's the type of widgets that the user will have on their final WordPress blog. Hope this was helpful.